Hello everyone, this is me Adijit with a new video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a sound reactive LED system using WLED and ESP32. So basically in this system you can actually control the LEDs with sound so they will be sound reactive so based on maybe your speaker sound or TV sound the animation will be there and also you can also manually control them using your Android phone so Android or iOS phone even using your desktop too. So let me show you the demo and then we will simply start building it. So as you can see here, based on my speech, basically you will see the sound reactions, like the light reactions. So when I'll be not speaking, there will be no light. And based on my sound, you will see all the different animations here. So as you can see, in my case, I have used it in my TV and I'm actually using it regularly in my home. But in your case, based on your requirements, you can use it anywhere. So now let's get started. Okay, so at first we are going to talk about the hardware parts. Now here we only need three parts mainly. So the very first thing is we need the LED. So here I'm using this uh, WS2812B RGB LED strip as you can see here. Okay, and I here I have around one meter. So basically in one meter we have uh, total 60 LEDs. Okay, so this is what I'm going to use here. The second thing is we need a ESP32. Now for the sound reactive version, we need ESP32 because it doesn't work anymore in normal like ESP8266 or Node MCU. So for the sound reactive one, you need a ESP32. And coming to the audio module or sound module, I am going to here use a Max 4466 sound module. Okay. Now you can use other modules also. So in the video, I'll tell you what other modules you can use. Now for now, we are only going to use these three uh, parts. Okay. Okay, now coming to the connection, uh, if you see in the LED, we basically have three pins. I don't know if you can see it properly. So there is a five volt pin, there is a D in, data in, and there is the ground pin. Okay, and so what we have to do, we have to use a jumper wire here. Okay, let me just focus it. And so in the jumper wire, we are going to connect three pins with the LEDs here. So the red pin I'll connect with the VCC, the orange one I'll connect with the uh, D in data in and the uh, brown one I'll connect with the ground. Okay, now I have to connect this pins in ESP32. Now in ESP32, if you see, we have a V in pin. So in the V in pin, we are going to connect the VCC of the LED and the ground pin we will connect the ground of the LED and there is a D2 pin. In the D2 pin, we are going to connect the data in of the LED. So let me just connect it. So VCC I'll connect with D in, V in, uh, the ground I'll connect with ground and that the data in pin I'll connect with the D2. So D2 in this side. So just connect with the D2. Okay, this is about the connection with the LED. Now regarding the connection with the audio module. So if you see in this audio module also, we have three pins, the out, ground and VCC. Okay, now the VCC it supports from uh, 2.4 to 5.5 volts. So the VCC I'll connect with 3.3 volts in the ESP32. The ground I will connect to the ground of ESP32 and output I will connect to the D35 pin of the ESP32, D35, okay. Now let me just connect. So this one I will connect to it 3.5 volts and ground will ground, go to ground and the, D, and the output pin will go to D35. So this is the D35, yeah, so this is all the connection we really need to do okay and next we'll actually power it from the usb and then uh, basically this wl all the leds will get power from it power from it okay but if you are using a really uh, high amount of leds for example large number of leds so maybe you are using 100 200 leds in that case you need to power it from a separate power supply so in that case what you have to do you have to power it from a separate 5 volt and ground so you give the led a separate 5 volt and, 5 volt and ground and the same ground you give to the uh, ESP32 also. 
and then from the ESP32 you take the single uh, data pin so D2 and you connect with the uh, D uh, you connect with the data in pin of the uh, LED okay so this is how you will connect the LED with the ESP32 and also you connect the sound module with the ESP32 okay guys so now as the hardware connection is done now we will see how we can install WLED in the ESP32 but before that let me tell you what the other compatible hardwares are actually so this is the official website of WLED okay and you will get all your necessary details here now coming to the compatible hardware these are all the different types of, so you can go to uh, basically from the home page here uh, there is a compatible hardware you will get somewhere in the menu so as you can see so compatible hardware so if you click here then you are going to get all the compatible hardware so for example these are all the different led support so here in our case we are using ws2812b this is the one i am using and this is uh, you will easily find it in the market so i hope also you are also using it but there are many other also different addressable rgb strips there you can also use them and i am now coming to uh, different uh, board control boards so there is esp32 esp8266 and many other boards so you will find all those both the list of those boards here okay now coming to the WLED sound reactive now like I already have said you that sound reactive is not going to work for normal node MC or ES like normal ESP8266 the sound reactive version of WLED will only get installed in ESP32 okay so obviously there are different methods using which maybe you can install it ESP8266 also like the normal node MCU but like those ways are a little bit complicated and i think like uh, the price difference of esp32 and esp8266 is also not that high so i really recommend you to use a esp32 for this project okay now also coming to different uh, uh coming to the different mics or sound modules you can use so basically these are the different sources so max 4466 9814 9184 INMP 401 441 all these things any of them you can use so in our case we are using max 4466 and it is really cheap but also if you uh, if you able to find the INP INMP 441 this one also you can use basically this is a bi-directional mic and this is also better so the quality of this mic INMP 441 is better than max 4466 so if you find this one you can also use that uh, with that one you will you are going to get the best results okay now the, these are the different mics you can differ different sound models you can use okay now uh, now let's see how to install WLED now to install the WLED you have to go to install.wled.me in this website you have to go now here you will see is an install button here but before that you have to select the version so in here you will see there are different versions here now these are the normal version normal WLED and this is a sound reactive one now we are going to use uh, use the sound reactive one for this video but if you have a node MC or you and you want to install a normal one you can also do that so let me select a sound reactive now after selecting it if i press install as you can see here i will get all the different serial ports available in my computer now for now i haven't connected my esp32 so you cannot see any like uart port or something like that now let me just connect my esp32 with my with the laptop so just give me a moment so now i have connected my esp32 now if you click on install you will see here we are getting that cp2102 usb to uart bridge controller and usb serial so click on this one you click on connect so you will see it will get connected now as you can see it is showing that install WLEDSR. so click on this and click on install so in my case it is erasing because previously also i have installed WLED. So that's why it erased the previous one and now it is installing the new uh, WDSR. So it will take around one or two minutes to install. Now as you can see it has been installed and it says installation complete. Now click on next. Now here you will find the option of configure the Wi-Fi. Now you can configure it here also you can skip now if you skip from here in that case what will happen that your uh, uh, ESP32 is going to create a access point so it's basically it will be like a Wi-Fi normal Wi-Fi and then what will happen that you will you just have to open your phone or your laptop and you have to connect to that hotspot so it may look like WP uh, WLED something like that and you have to connect to that hotspot and then from there you have to again give the con uh, Wi-Fi configuration 
details so wi-fi configuration details means basically the wife network name and the password basically your home network name so your home wi-fi name uh, to which your wled will get uh, basically your esp32 will get connect to okay so now here in my case it is so as you can see in my case my home uh, wi-fi it's uh, sparklers 2g so as you can see here also currently you can see it's wled ap so if i just skip it from here then what you have to do i have to go to this wled ap and i have to connect to it and then a page will open similar looking to this where it will ask me to configure the wi-fi so i'm not going to do that instead i'll just do it here but in your case uh, if necessary you can do that too so i'll just give it sparklers uh, 2g and i'll give it the password of my wireless access point now i'll just click on connect it will take few seconds to connect to that hotspot uh, it connect to that wi-fi so as you can see device connected with network now you can visit the device okay now click on it and now you will get the whole screen now before we control the led uh, we have to do few setups so let me do that so the very first thing is you have to go to config and there you have to go to led preferences okay and from there you have to the very first thing is here as you can see enable automatic brightness uh, limiter so basically this basically limits the current now in my i really don't like to use this but if you even use this you have to put a proper value so maybe something like uh, 2000 you can put depending on how many leds you have obviously okay but i don't really like to use it so i'll just turn it off the second thing is uh, led so you have to select which kind of led you're using so in my case is ws 2812b so it will be same the length of the led very important so depending on the length of your LED, so how many leds you have so for example if you have a one meter led strip then maybe you will gonna have 60 leds so I'll just put 60 here because I have around 60 LEDs there. But depending on the number of LEDs you have in your strip, you have to put this value. Now make sure the GPI will be 2 because if you remember, we have connected our connected the LED, uh, basically the input of the LED to the uh, D2 pin. D2 pin basically is GPI 2 pin. Okay, so make sure it is GPI 2. This is the only things you need to change. The remaining things you don't need to change. Okay, so just click save. Go to Wi-Fi setup. In Wi-Fi setup, uh, you already can see the network name and password here. If you have to change it, you can change it from here. I like to change this thing also. So basically, this is how you will going to connect to it your WLED. Okay, so if you are going to control it from your laptop or some browser, you can just put WLED. So HTTP WLED or local, and you are going to get it. Okay. So uh, I just you can name it something else. Maybe anything you can name, and then after that, whenever you will put this thing. Uh, in your browser you are going to get that so i'll show you let me just save it okay so you have saved it now let me go here if i just write http and if i just write wled.local is it's not working why uh, just a minute wi-fi setup so we have wrote like this right okay it has not been saved somehow so let me oh, okay oh i just i think i have mistakenly pressed on back so save and connect so the wi-fi settings has been saved as you can see and you just reload it so you'll get it and now go by and i think for the led preference also yeah i have saved it no problem back yeah so now if we go to wled.local now it's working as you can see uh now we have got this okay so in this way you can change the name and then next time whenever you go to browser and you can just select this one whatever name you have given you will get it okay now another thing we need to change you have to go to sound settings there you have to change this analog pin input okay analog input pin so whatever the number is you have to make it 35 okay because you remember we have used d35 so make sure you have put it 35 and if you are using some other pin you can give that number but as i'm using 35 I have to make it 35 and click on save so these are all the different settings you need to do and now we are good with it okay so let me show you how to use it now i'm showing you from basically in the web so basically in the pc mode okay but also i will also show you like how you can use it from access it from your mobile or in android or ios device okay but let me just show you the functionalities so at first you have to power it on and you can power it on in this way next you can choose any color so basically in the fx mode you can just you have to choose solid and then you can choose any color you want and then the full led will be so LED strip will get that color okay this is how it works now from here you have several effects you can choose any of them so there are many manual effects like this one I see you uh, okay as you can see this one lake there are different kind of animations okay 
and if you want to use the sound reactive one so if you see there are there will be many uh, effect names starting with this music icon so those are basically sound reactive versions so if you just choose any of them let's say i really like this graph centric so now as you can see basically based on the sound it is working so for example for this effect this is how it looks like now if i choose a different one it will be different and also here for all of this effects you can choose a color palette so for example here if i choose this one now we'll see uh, the effect will be same but the color palette is different so in this way you can actually uh, you can actually try with different uh, patterns and different like uh, effects and you can see which one suits you the best okay also you can create the uh, different segments okay so for example for segment 0 it will be from start till 0 to 60 but let's say if you for this uh, for this uh, whole strip, you want to use 30 LEDs in a different way. So you, what you can do, you for segment 0, you take it from 0 to 30. For segment 1, you can just create another segment and you from 30 to 60. You can take in this way. And also you can uh, basically save all these things, create playlists and do a lot of things. Okay, so look into this and uh, you can just do a lot of things with it. Okay, now I'll show you how you can uh, use the same interface in Android. So in Android, at first you have to install a WLED. So in my case, as you can see, WLED is already installed. So I'll open this app. Now, after opening the app, it will show you all your WLED devices. In my case, I'll just delete this one. Okay, so I'll just delete all the one and I'll just create a new one. So if I just click plus and you see discover lights and it will start discovering the lights in the same. So in the same LAN, if you can find it. Okay. So as you can see, it says found WAD sound reactive. So click on that. And now as you can see, it has found one WAD sound reactive. Okay. Now you open that. And now as you can see from here also, you can control it. Now it has been stopped. If I just click on power, now it start again. Now from here, you can just go to effects and you can make it solid and come back to color and you can just change it to any color. Okay. And all the settings you have did in the, uh, in the desktop, you can also get it in the app. So in this way, you can use sound, you can use the WLED, okay. Okay, so now we have saw how you can actually create the whole system, you, you, how you can install WLED in ESP32, how to control the, uh, how to connect LED with the ESP32, how to connect the audio module ESP32 and all these things. Now, based on your requirement, you have to use it and uh, based on your requirement, actually you can put it anywhere. So in my case, what I have did is I have used the, uh, basically channel so i have used the led channel so you can buy any led channel from amazon and you can put the led inside the led channel and you, then you will exactly get what i am actually using so as you can see in my case i am using the led in this in this led channel actually so if you see if i open it so you will see this is how it looks like so i have just put the whole all like the whole led strip inside this okay and in your case also you can do this so there are several kind of led channels you will find so you have to find a suitable one and then you have to put the led whole strip inside it so similarly you can maybe you can just buy some uh, i don't know glass items or something and you can put the led inside that and so based on your requirement actually you can use it anywhere and then yeah, hopefully you will get a very good result or very good output okay so this is all about this video guys i hope you have liked this video and uh, so please subscribe to the channel and uh, see you in the very next video.